as I was saying um, in the post um, interview on the court, it's a very, very tough that someone has to lose a game like today. I give Wagner a ton of credit. They really worked hard, and um, it's just really unfortunate that someone has to lose when a team plays that hard. But it is the way it is, and it stings. And I uh, tip my hat to them and how hard they played. They, they, they really pushed us to the limit in all aspects. And we had to be really good down the stretch to, to be able to pull that game off. And um, you know, I'm very proud of our group as things weren't easy for us today. And they did such a great job of keeping us uncomfortable at certain times. And it was because they were playing so hard and our timing was off. But um, you know, we were able to overcome it because we stuck together when adversity had hit. And I'm very proud of these guys for that. Exactly. Yeah, that's something we had been working on, you know, very recently. And, um, you know, when you work on that stuff, you, you, you just don't know when you're going to have to use it. Um, but when you have to use it, you're very glad you did. <laughs> you know, you're very glad you put the time in. And you said, you know, on a, on a game like today where, you know, you're, you're looking at it from the outside, looking in, people may say it's a one, it's an eight. You know, uh, last time we played them, we beat them pretty good. Um, you're not going to need that. You know, no, we thought we did. And we, we had to have it in. And, um, you know, that work that we put into it always benefits you when the moment comes. And um, she did just such a great job of executing. And, and so did the rest of the team. The spacing on the floor, the screen was great. And just the, the pace of it. After we were off pace for so much today uh, to find that pace on that last play, you know, that was, again, just moving on to the next play and having a heart. What were the challenges that they threw at you on defense? And, and I guess what was the plan for, for getting out of the um, Like you said, the biggest challenge was facing the double. Um, there were a lot of arms around me, so I had to you know, adjust and um, trust that my teammates would be there on um, kicking it out or just being strong around the, the, the basket. You know, when they're doing that to, to Necker or any of the post players, I guess, you know, what is the responsibility on you to kind of help them out and help ease that pressure? Well, we have a big responsibility, and we have been struggling with that. When the ball goes in, a lot of our guards, we just uh, stare and ex expect our bigs to do all the work. And I think we were struggling with it today, too, so that's something we got to work. Like, when um, they double our post, we got to be available on the perimeter. And I should ask you, what, like, what did you see on that last the game time layup there? I guess did it just kind of open up how you, how you expected it to? Um, well, like Coach said, we were just working on it, so I was more confident and comfortable on taking it, and uh, they were trusting me, and they told me, just go, just go, so there was no hesitation. Charlie, what was the, what was the message in the last few timeouts, I guess? Even, you know, just before overtime, was it kind of like, all right, this is a reset, like, so like let's, let's get going right now, you know? Well, you know, you can't dwell, but you got to teach what we're doing wrong, but you can't dwell. It's just a real fine balance. You know, it, you got to challenge them because there was moments there where we needed to work harder, you know, where we didn't focus in on something defensively or we weren't executing something offensively, but we had to move forward. And that was the big message is we went over what we needed to do better, but we had to move forward. It was really about going to the next moment, the next play. Um, you know, when we got to the overtime, you know, it was then at that point, you know, who's going to want it more? Who's going to execute better? Who's going to get the loose balls? You know, who's going to go up there and snatch the rebound? Um, you know, you got to be willing to make plays at this time of year. You know, we could go into the huddle and draw up something really great, but you're going to get their best on defense and you're going to get their best attacking you. It's really going to be who, who wants it, who has the heart. You know, there's those games where I was telling them beforehand that you just don't seem like you get real tired in. You know, and, and I was telling them that in the, in the pregame. You know, you remember those games that you said, boy, I never just ever got tired. Well, that's adrenaline and that's heart. And that's what I felt we had going into the overtime. I felt that our heart and our adrenaline stayed lit. You know, that fire was lit. And, um, you know, we were just continuing just to coach and just go over what we're doing next. And, again, just, just challenging them to be the better team. Can you speak to what they were doing well offensively? It seemed like they were hitting, like, tough buckets, too, right? like ones with hands and faces and that sort of thing. 
Yeah, down the stretch, I thought we defended a lot better than the way we started off or like some of our moments during the third quarter or fourth quarter where we gained a lead and then we let them back. I thought down the stretch, we contested and, and they still knocked them down that three or that pull up, uh, that runner, I guess, where she, um, you know, that point guard was going into us and we were walling up and it went off the glass. I mean, those were tough shots, but I can't take it away from them. You know, you don't, you don't say lucky shot. I don't believe in that. You know, you, you do the best you can. To, to contest the shot, to make sure that you're making it tough on them, taking away their comfort zones. And if they go up and hit it, this is March basketball. The players are going to elevate their game. They're going to hit shots that are tough. So you have to be mentally tough enough to handle it and come back down. And, and that's what, at the end of the game, was a big reason why we were able to overcome things is because we were mentally tough on us when adversity came. It wasn't looking good probably from the outside looking in, but, you know, just continue to go to the next play. What can we do? And, and these guys got to be player driven. I always say it can't be coach driven. It's got to be player driven. Um, coach, I mean, you, you guys have been, you know, pretty, pretty much uh, blowing out opponents, for lack of a better term, in conference play this season. Um, I think it was a little under 20 points per game, <coughs> that point differential for conference play. Um, how impressed with you were your team tonight when, you know, they had a tough challenge that they haven't really faced a lot this season? I think a lot of it goes back to practice. And, and I think that that gets lost a lot of times when, you know, People talk about the lights go on and it's about being, you know, when showtime happens, it's about stepping up. But when you go hard at practice and you challenge yourself to play at a great pace and you put them in situations that are really tough in practice, competition, and you push each other, um, that's where that culture comes from. You know, if, if, um, if we were taking it easy on each other at practice, and, and, you know, that moment would feel foreign to us. But we had our tough games this year. It wasn't like every game was a lopsided victory. This team on this court was down two, and we had to get a big offensive rebound early in the conference season and, and close out the game with some free throws. And we, you know, the same team gave us a, a great game on this court. And, um, you know, one of our last few games over at Mount was nip and tuck. We were down at the half, eight, I believe. And so it wasn't always that moment. Those, those moments, though, that we have have to be learning experiences. You know, we, we suffered one defeat in the regular season. I'm darn proud of him for that. But you have to be able to handle winning and losing. And when you get in those close games, you know, you just go to the next play. You don't think about, oh, if we're going to lose, you got to stay in faith. We're a big faith over fear team. You know, we're not afraid of what could happen. We're, we're staying in faith when things get tough. Uh, Becca, is there anything you speak for how Erie played tonight? Because it seems like every time she stepped in for you, you know, the team never meant, missed a beat in terms of down low. <coughs> those play. Um. I always talk about how Ozzy and I are um, close. We push each other in practice every day. Uh, we play against each other. So it's expected that when I'm out, she's to play at the same level as me. And when I'm out, uh, when I'm in, she's to, um, we just play at the same level. You know, we, we feed off of each other. We give each other your advice. And um, we trust each other. So John, was, was Ozzy's injury serious? I uh, know she came back with sitting on the bench. She, she responded well to it, you know, she was ready to go if we needed her, you know, it was tough at first to see her go down like that and you're in the, you know, the heat of the battle where, you know, you only have so much time to make your subs, make sure your lineup's right, but, um, you know, that's something that, you know, when you're a student athlete, when you come in as a freshman, you know, you got to get tougher. And, and we always talk about that, you know, toughness doesn't come from wishing upon it, it's moments that you have to step up and be tough and she was ready to go back in. And, um, you know, we'll take care of her, we'll evaluate it, and, um, you know, and I'm, I'm sure she'll be ready to go. Um, Nina, so you guys only shot 20% from the 3 point line tonight. Is there something that they were doing defensively, or was it just, you know, just struggles offensively for it? Um, can you repeat the beginning? Sorry. <laughs> no, you only sh it's, as a team, you only shot 20% from the 3 point line tonight. Oh, yeah. So um, do you credit that more to what Wagner did defensively, or? more just first round struggles. I think that's um, our own mental battles. Um, individually, we have been struggling to shoot, and today we were we had to be confident when taking those shots. And like Coach said, we were off pace, especially to start the game. So when you're off pace, your shots aren't confident and on pace. So I think that's a big part. Not necessarily what they were doing, but more what we were doing. And the uh, last question I have on Coach B, um, four years, four Coach of the Year awards, four times winning first place, and 
for, in the conference for regular season, four first round victories. I mean, what can you just speak about the level of consistency that you have found with this program? Well, those coach of the years are a team effort. I, I refer to it every time it's spoken about as coaching staff of the year. And when I say staff, I also mean everybody involved that's at practice every day. Um, you know, it is a team effort. And um, the assistant coaches are working really hard. And our trainer, you know, our physical therapist, our managers, our managers serve so well. I mean, they serve. I mean, they're here every day early. And they'll, they're willing to jump at a moment's notice to help this team, to help us, co our coaching staff, anybody. I mean, that's what matters. No, no coach of the year is ever going to be won without a great coaching staff and a great support staff. So I believe in stability and, um, you know, um, thankfulness. And um, I'm very thankful for them. And um, I don't accept this award or any of them without them being involved. Okay, thanks. All right, thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.